You haven't found your way here by accident. It's a unique and meaningful connection meant to deliver the impactful message of Apostle Joshua Selman to your doorstep. This message carries the potential to not only bless you, but also inspire you for greatness. Open your heart wide and allow your mind to embrace the richness of this transformative message. Before we delve further, I extend a warm invitation for you to actively engage with this significant message. Join in by liking the video, sharing it with those in your circles who might find it beneficial, and subscribing to our channel for a consistent flow of insightful content. Your support is genuinely appreciated and plays a crucial role in our ability to continue sharing these meaningful messages. As you tune in to absorb this special message, may blessings overflow into your life. Embrace the profound wisdom offered by Apostle Joshua Selman, and let this encounter be a beacon of inspiration and positive change. And may tonight be a service of deliverance for someone. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying for you that through my speakings, God is going to be speaking expressly to you. Maybe to a man of God, maybe to a couple, maybe to a family, maybe to someone. You just came at this point in your life. You don't even know if to go left or to go right or to remain there. You're not even sure of what to do. May you find direction tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. There are many reasons why people fail in life. There are many reasons why people are stagnated in life. In fact, I looked up the word stagnation while preparing my notes for this sermon and um, I wrote down a few things here just to put our minds in the same page. Write the word stagnation. The word stagnation has many meanings but I coined out a few that I thought would give us um, light and understanding even as we proceed. I wrote down here that stagnation is a condition that is marked by lack of movement. Please write. Stagnation is a condition that is marked by lack of movement or progress. Stagnation is a condition that is marked by lack of movement or progress. Stagnation also means a state of inactivity, a state of inactivity, having life but without motion. Very terrible description, having life but without motion. So one more time, stagnation is a condition that is marked by lack of movement or progress, a state of inactivity, having life but with no motion. Hallelujah. This arguably is about the number one reason why people do not make progress in life. People are in that state of inactivity. And there are many factors. Number one is ignorance. Ignorance is biblically the first reason why people do not move because knowledge is represented in light and you are only able to move to the degree to which you see so ignorance number two we have demonic activities hallelujah paul said i desire to come to you even i paul once and again he said but satan hindered us so we know that demon spirits can hinder the advancement and the progress of people but the third reason which is my concern for tonight is the absence of divine direction, the leadings of God. The inability to access the leadings of God is arguably about the greatest, in my opinion, the greatest explanation for the helpless stagnation of many. No matter what kind of vision you have, no matter what kind of great destiny you have before you, the inability to access and to understand the leadings of God per time, per season, per moment may keep you stagnated for a very, very long. Be very weak people who have mastered the art of accessing the leadings of God and they triumph from one level of results even to the other why do we need the leadings of god even at such a time as this 
confusion is part of the limitations in all men confusion write that word down please confusion is part of the limitations in all men provided you are a man carrying flesh and blood and bones confusion is part of the limitations of all men it's not an insult it's an attempt to describe a state of man outside of the assistance of god i said to fulfill your divine destiny and your assignment you will need to access the guidance and the leadings of god and then that confusion is part of the limitations in all men hallelujah are we together now very very important you see in life please look up let me have your attention i wrote down here that our decisions in life are usually based on the information we have and our current levels of exposure this is a fact with all men decisions decide destiny like dr mudok will say however your decisions are predicated upon the level of knowledge the orientation you have at any given time as powerful as that is it is a risk because your growth is transitory that means you can make a decision today using the level of orientation and knowledge you have today and only find out after 15 years that you did not make a superior decision it means then you have to outsource a dimension of intelligence that is higher than your level of exposure or your orientation are we together now it's amazing how that as you grow in leadership as you grow in age as you grow in life as you grow you know in in several kinds of responsibilities your priorities change is that true your orientation changes and so on and so forth I remember years ago as children there used to be this this hairstyle called punk my people remember and if the Baba makes a mistake and ruins your one week by getting the measurement wrong and the styling wrong you can your one week can be ruined and frustrated because someone was not sensitive to the times but it is amazing right now that as I sit down for them to bab me usually I'm sleeping it takes a lot of patience from the barber because any opportunity to not do anything for five ten minutes is converted to sleep just bab whatever you need to bab and allow me prepare i'm just saying that our priorities change as we rise as we grow in leadership are we together now you can see a woman of 60 years old walking and her shoe cut and she carries the one that is not working well and keeps walking no embarrassment whatsoever no explanation whatsoever she will walk home with joy and confidence and say let's look at what happened i started trekking from here to this place but let that happen to a young lady of 21 22 23 and that is an attack she may even go for deliverance and say no it has to be the devil for this level of embarrassment If you look back at your decisions now 10 15 years ago i am sure from the lens of your growth your maturity your increase in knowledge there are many things you probably would not have approached the way you did is that true that means that depending on the scope of your understanding now to make all of your decisions is a risk because growth is progressive it means in the next five to ten years the world is going to change and you do not know how far it will change your knowledge is going to grow and increase and you do not know how far what what level of ignorance you have now you only test how bad your ignorance is in the presence of superior knowledge are we learning already we are very very limited as men I know that we are an arrogant species and it's not very easy for us to admit these kinds of things but I am telling you based on the integrity of scripture all men are limited Jeremiah chapter 1 give us 11 and 12 please Jeremiah chapter 1 11 and 12 moreover the word of the Lord came unto me saying Jeremiah what seest thou and then Jeremiah said I see the rod of an almond tree 
verse 12 is my verse of emphasis then said the Lord unto me thou hast well seen that means a man can see wrongly is that true to see means to perceive for I will hasten my word to perform it he says in Luke chapter 11 from verse 34 and 35 Jesus was given a word of caution and he said the light of the body is the eye he said therefore when thine eye be single thine whole body is full of light but when your eye is evil thy body is full of darkness 35 he says take heed therefore that the light which is in thee be not darkness that means you can carry darkness for decades believing it is light until you see the true light hallelujah there is a desperate need for the leadings of God especially you see ladies and gentlemen when you get to a point in your life where you now become a leader over others when many people trust your intuition and they trust your leadership perhaps you are a ceo of a company here you are a man of god leading a ministry you are a father a mother you are a leader of every any kind of sort it is a risk to take steps in today's world with assumptions because you see you will not only destroy yourself you will destroy maybe tens hundreds thousands of others who follow you with unbending loyalty it is a risk to lead people using just instincts alone this all of this this emotional expressions are useful but the reality of the times will require us to master the guidance and the leadings of the spirit hallelujah one of the things that defines a righteous man or is or a good man as the bible calls it is the ability to have his steps ordered give us psalms 37 please 23 and 24. psalms 37 23 and 24. i pray this scripture for you in the name of jesus it says the steps of a good man the word good there in many other versions is a righteous man the steps of a good man, the Bible says, are ordered by the Lord. Not just ordered by his brain, not just ordered by his age. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighted in his ways. 24, it says, though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down for the Lord upholded him with his hand. The steps of a good man, the Bible says, are ordered by the Lord now you look at that against the scripture that says Proverbs 16 25 Proverbs 16 25 that there is a way that seemeth right unto a man someone says seemeth right one more time seemeth right but the end thereof are the ways of death you can see a path that looks like the path to victory the path to glory and you will religiously follow that path only to find out that you've gotten yourself in trouble i forbid that over your life in jesus name does the bible give us the portrait of what a life looks like when it is under the influence of the leadership of god yes deuteronomy 32 from verse 10 to 13 this is a biblical portrait of how god leads men and what happens to a life and a destiny that submits to the guidance and the leadings of god deuteronomy 32 10 we are reading to 13. he found him in a desert land so notice where he found him in a desert land and the bible says and in the waste hauling wilderness the waste hauling wilderness he led him about he instructed him and kept him as the apple of his eye as an eagle stirred up her nest fluttereth over her young spreadeth abroad her wings taketh them beareth them on their wings verse 12 the bible says so the lord alone did lead him and there was no strange god with him that means there was no plan b it was not God and a charm. It was not God and somebody somewhere. 
the Lord alone led them. And the Bible says, as a result, he made him to ride on the high places. Where did he find him? In the desert and in the wilderness. And by the leadings of God, look where this man has arrived at now. He made him to ride upon the high places of the earth that he might eat the increase of the fields and he made him to suck honey out of the rock and oil out of the flinty rock use your imagination for a moment and compare this man the man who is in the wilderness wallowing in confusion maybe under curses and all kinds of things versus a man right now hiding riding on his high places experiencing increase in every dimension sucking honey out of the rock and oil out of the flinty rock may that be you in jesus name you know believe me um i've been concerned especially over the last one week did you know that over 80 percent arguably of the emails and the text messages i receive is about people praying over financial conditions or some kind of conditions of stagnancy that is bringing pain reproach and embarrassment to their families i had to take it to god in prayer to say father please something needs to be done to the body of christ this level of stagnation this level of incapacitation does not bring glory to the lord is because we're a generation that have over depended on brain work and just the intellect as against the simplicity and the childlikeness of the leadings of God. He took him from a desert and began to lead him. The leadings of God will always look like foolishness until you begin to see the glory that comes from his leadings. There are many of you right now, you can literally trace your lives and your destinies to the leadings of God. You can look at where you were as a man of God. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes um, I, I was talking to a gentleman not too long. And when he told me the wonderful things that were happening in his life now and made reference to a few things I told him many years ago. I told him about the excellency of intimacy with the Holy Spirit and the ability to follow the leadings of God. And he was saying, Apostle, thank you. It didn't make sense then, but look what he's made out of my life now. You can know that you have submitted yourself to the leadings of God. Because please hear me, if it is the God of the Bible that leads you, I don't care what you meet on the way. The end of it will always be beauty and glory. God is speaking to someone because right now, you just know you are led of God, but Lord, where are we going? I do not know. Can I tell you, when God leads people, you can be sure he will take you from a desert. You see, when you are driving for over 98%, help that gentleman, for over 98% of the journey, you will not see your destination, but you need to trust the driver. For he leads you and guides you to the city up above he'll lead you and guide you to your place of destiny god is leading you and for those of you who are not sure pay attention so that you can verify whether it is god leading you or is a demon spirit leading you because there are many people who are obediently following demon spirits believing satan can appear as an angel of light and manipulate your sincerity there are many people today who believe it is god that is leading them but the results we are seeing do not carry the signature of god use tonight's teaching to verify so that you can switch loyalty in case you have submitted to a false voice hallelujah I am certain that the sermons you've embraced have been a wellspring of blessings, lifting your life and igniting a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve God. We extend a heartfelt invitation for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, ensuring you remain connected and never miss any upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription transcends a mere click. It symbolizes a dedication to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled odyssey with us, as our channel strives to become a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and steadfast believers.
we staunchly believe in the transformative prowess of God's Word, and our objective is to disseminate messages that deeply resonate with the essence of your soul. Become a part of our community, subscribe, and let the radiant light of divine wisdom, your presence is integral to this uplifting journey, and may the abundant blessings of God overflow in every facet of your life. Amen. Stay connected with us across all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel, and explore more on our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Gratitude fills our hearts, and may God's abundant blessings continue to grace your life abundantly.